Today, immigrants and refugees were officially sworn in as the newest U.S. citizens. 98 people gathering at the state capitol for that naturalization ceremony. These people completed all requirements, including passing the civics and English tests. They also have to live in the U.S. for at least three years. We spoke to one woman from Argentina minutes after she became a new citizen. She offers a word of advice for those seeking citizenship. Really find uh, someone who can help you start the process because it is worth it. It's, it's an incredible feeling and um, there's so much opportunity in this country. Over the past two years, Utah has resettled a record number of refugees and immigrants with 1,200 expected to be resettled this year. Utah celebrating the new citizens on World Refugee Day this weekend with a festival at Big Cottonwood Canyon Park. Still ahead, Senate Republicans tackling the student loan.